ufologist, and this is a multi-purpose strainer and steamer with lids. Now you can drain grease safely instead of throwing it down the sink drain, which we should never, ever, ever, ever do. You can strain your pasta without burning your fingers because it's got a great handle on the side. And you could even infuse flavor into your seafood when you steam it in the microwave if you would like to. I've got color choices for you. Here's the gray. <laughs> really authoritative. 100 left. We also have it in the red. About 1,000 left there. And we also have it in the blue. Six dozen in the blue. And it's on five easy payments of $5.60. Now, we're going to bring in our friend Rick Roman, who is joining us live to talk to us all about it. Rick Roman, this is not just a strainer. It's a system. It's a system. And you know what? So first of all, traditional strainers have two handles, right? So you, if you try to hold it with one hand, it would strain your wrist. And then when you strain... Then you have to put this somewhere in the sink, the dirty sink where there's dirty dishes to let it finish draining. Well, I don't like that, that system. I like Chefologist, an ergonomic handle that you can hold with one hand so that you can strain. But then we designed the container to fit perfectly underneath so you can finish straining on the counter. Then it also comes with a lid for the container so you can store some food or reheat in the microwave. And then last, this time around, we put two holes in the strainer lid, which means now it becomes a microwave steamer. And all of this nests down into this footprint so that this is all you're storing for all that functionality. So let's just show you. So many people, they make breakfast sausage, they make bacon. Well, here's what I love. I'm gonna take the container. It fits neatly right underneath the strainer. And I don't have the camera in the close. Now I'm gonna take something like hot breakfast sausage. This is heat safe to 330 degrees. So all that grease and fat, I can drain off my sausage, okay? But then underneath, all that fat is captured in there. So if you're somebody who's making bacon, maybe you want to save that. But here's the beauty. I can do this safely on my countertop, let that drain and cool on its own without having to worry about getting that grease in my sink or down my drain. And then when I'm doing something like pasta, this is another thing I love because the sink to me is a little gross. I clean my dishes. Who knows how clean it right. is? Right. One one-handed operation because I can hold this with one hand. I can strain a, up to a pound and a half of pasta. This is a three and a half, half quart capacity. But instead of waiting for that to drain, or maybe I want to capture some of that pasta water, the container fits right underneath. So then I can leave it out of the dirty sink and let it finish straining on the counter and not worry about clogging up my sink or getting the pasta water, or excuse me, getting the pasta dirty or losing some of that extra pasta water that I want. So it's just a smarter, easier way to drain and strain in the kitchen. I mean, it takes up less space. It's $5.60 yeah. to get it home. And we know we've done it, even though we've heard about it a bunch of times. We're not supposed to put certain things down the sink. And maybe you got away with it one time but you do not get away with it a second time. I'll tell you that right now. And it is expensive to have somebody come out to the house and get that fixed for you. And if you are renting, say bye-bye to the deposit because nobody <laughs> likes to replace the pipes after somebody moves out. And I look at this and think, okay, I have it in the gray, I have it in the red, and I have it in the blue. This is a great idea for Kids going back to school, I say kids, oh my gosh, you're not children, I'm sorry, it's a bad habit. But people going back to school in the fall, this is a must have. Anybody who just got a new place or is downsizing, this is a must have. And quite frankly, Rick, now that we are in spring, all yep. the fresh produce that needs to be cleaned and drained, we need oh. this ourselves too. Oh yeah, so you go to the sink, and this is my favorite thing, you go to the sink, how many times you rinse in a strainer, a traditional strainer, you rinse it. Well, guess what? There's all that excess liquid. So now you're like, okay, where do I put this? It's going to make a mess. Well, because our container was specially designed to fit underneath, I get it out of the sink, let it finish straining on the counter so I don't have to worry about that and also can do other things while the excess liquid is coming off. But here is the game changer for me. When we redesigned this, we decided to make it multifunctional, just like with our, our chicken roaster. It's not just a roaster. Well, this is a microwave steamer. So in the bottom container that fits underneath. Now, this is a really important tip. You always want to grab it by the bottom container because it doesn't attach. It just sits underneath. Oh, I put tip. in here some herbs, some lemon, some white wine. And then on the top strainer portion, what did I do? I put in some gorgeous shrimp 
broccoli Yum. and some vegetables. So underneath I have aromatics flavoring that. And by the way, because this is a square with rounded corners, it naturally pours mm. out very easily. And look, three and Oof. a half quart capacity, I could even put more in. I don't know if you could see that. Look at that. Look how, look at how much good is that in there. broccoli is. It's bright green. It didn't exactly. leach out into the water that it was being boiled in. So all the I nutrients are still in there. It looks so good. Um, yep. Hey, here's some updates for you at home. We have four dozen remaining in the gray. And by the way, it nests down. So all the pieces are here. We just have them nested down beautifully. Four dozen left in the gray. Here's the red. That's been most popular in the show. We also have it in blue. And there are three dozen remaining in the blue. Now, obviously, microwave safe, Rick. Also dishwasher yeah. safe. Dishwasher safe, we recommend the top rack. And that's the beauty of this. You know, some of those metal strainers or they have enamel coatings, they chip, they rust. This has made it a food grade plastic that's going to be microwave safe and dishwasher safe. And here's the other thing. I'm using that container to strain a large can. It could be beans, all the chilies we're gonna make in corn. You wanna make a corn salad. I don't have to take up any space in my sink. So this large can of corn, I've now strained it and all the fluid is being captured. And then once I've strained it, I dump the fluid out. I use the container as my storage unit and I can put the lid on the container. It's refrigerator, freezer, microwave safe. So you mm. can store in it and you can reheat in it as well. So for a small footprint, you're getting microwave steaming, you're getting more efficient straining, and you're getting a much smaller footprint than your traditional large strainers. This is so great. And I do love the fact that it's dishwasher safe and microwave safe. Here's the blue, here's the red, Here's the gray at the very end. Now we have three color choices available. We have five easy payments of 560. I want you to keep in mind tomorrow, <clears throat> we've been celebrating Now You're Cooking Week here at QVC. Tomorrow is Now You're Cooking Day on QVC. So you're getting a lot of great previews of some hot items here at the Q. And Rick Roman, oh my gosh, why does all the food look amazing at your house? The broccoli and now the <laughs> grapes, they look fantastic. Well, I needed some extra veg to go with my chicken. Yum. That we I, I, told, I told the kids, after this, you got a lot of food to eat. <laughs> I love it. Rick, <laughs> thank you for being here. We'll see you soon, my friend. Thank you. Hey, have a great one. Bye-bye. Thank you. Um, hey, now, tomorrow is now your cooking day, but today at QVC is Love Your Garden Day. And look, our customers are starting to file in, and we're getting all finished with our setup. Do you know what's happening over there? We have a live audience show. Does the live audience show start at 2 or 3 today? Starts at 3 p.m. Eastern time with Sandra Bennett. And that booth that you're seeing over there on the right-hand side of your screen, they're making flower crowns for the folks that are going to be in the audience today. It's so cute. I touched all the flowers, full disclosure, before I started in the kitchen with Marion today because I they looked really pretty and they smell good too. Um,